<laughs> Next up, uh, another common, common, common one is you're going to go out <coughs> and you crazy, insane fool that you are, you're going to photograph in the rain. So we're going to go photograph in the rain. The one thing we don't want to do is drown our cameras. Now, just so you know, a couple little splashes on your camera, no big deal. Your cameras, most decent cameras, aren't just going to fall apart because they got a little bit wet. But a downpour, not a good idea. So we want to protect it in, in that situation. Now, they make, for cameras, just to be clear, they make very special fancy covers for specific cameras to keep them rain shielded. But one of the easiest things to do is you just take, and I like, don't like taking the little sandwich size Ziploc. I like to take the big ones. Some people like to even use bigger bags than this, but I like these because they're nice and clear. So what I do is I take a pair of scissors, and I take, uh, there it is, my pen. So I am just going to lay the lens so that it's halfway down, like so. Okay. Then I mark it. Then I take my pair of scissors. It doesn't have to be beautiful. Now, got my little hole there, right? So I take my camera. Pull it around. And now, my camera is protected in the rain. And a lot of times when I am in the rain, I'll also put a, a filter on the front because I just don't want water to get around the front elements. And so you'll have to wipe it off relatively often. It's also really helpful when you're shooting in the rain. And I would also, for this big one, cut it for this hood in honesty. And so it kind of would come around the hood and then I just rubber band it around. And um, then you're ready to shoot the rain. The cool thing about it is it's easy still to get your eye up to it. And you can still look down because it's clear and you can see all of your controls. And if you want to do, um, you know, like a video where you want the screen to swing out, you just need to use a bigger size bag. Okay. And just uh, zap it. And this, by the way, that I just cut that one, but you can see I really carry one of these. In fact, mine's getting pretty old and cruddy looking, but <laughs> I've used these things for years. I mean, I've, this is just a common trick that um, I really use. It's not like, oh, I'll show them something fun and he never uses it. No, I like use this all the stinking time. Um, so they're really great. So cheap way to protect your camera from the elements. Just a Ziploc gallon bag and a rubber band and you're set to go. Okay.